Today on the channel, we're gonna be taking a look at Pizza Toss and Ref, Pizza Toss and Mike, and Pizza Tossing Leo. Now these are the latest Playmates reissue, remakes, whatever you wanna call it. These are exclusive to Walmart stores in the United States as of making this video anyway. Retail price on these was $14.97, which I thought was actually pretty reasonable, um, especially in a day and age where you know Hasbro's making us buy $30 Star Wars figures and whatnot, but $14.97, so you know, $15. Uh, these are very faithful to the original release to the degree. Um, with all these Playmates remakes slash reissues, there's always something they change uh, and retool a little bit to make it not a carbon copy of the original. So if you absolutely want a carbon copy, I'm sorry, you're out of luck. Your just best bet is to buy the old used figures off of eBay. But they did a great job just looking at them right out of the gate. Uh, they did reuse the original card back art. Uh, they did change it a little bit. There was a pizza tossing like triangle pizza slice logo, as well as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the original card back. Uh, it is omitted from this one, but it still has the standard crazy wacky uh, eye bulging out expressions of the turtles on the back. And you're looking at this and you're going, oh, wait a minute, Doug, you, you forgot to pick up Donatello. No, I didn't forget to pick up Donatello because for whatever reason, Playmates completely omitted releasing Donatello from this line. So yeah, it, it's a head scratcher. Not only are these a Walmart exclusive, but you don't get all four turtles. You only get these three turtles. And to me, I just think that's absolutely crazy that they're releasing three of the turtles, but not four. So I'm not sure what the story is or why we're not getting a Donatello. He is the best turtle, if you ask me. So that is a bit of a head scratcher, but that is, you know, kind of par for the course. Uh, Walmart also kind of has an exclusive on the giant Michelangelo Ninja Turtle that's being reissued, whereas Target, Amazon, Walmart also sell the other three, but Walmart is exclusive to that fourth turtle. So it's really weird what's going on lately in retail with the exclusives and the Ninja Turtles reissues and re-releases specifically. I found these guys at my local Walmart just hanging out, uh, as well as some of the newer uh, giant turtle releases as well as the older uh, main figure releases that have been you know rehashed and reissued to death but a great opportunity for somebody to pick up a classic turtle figure uh, the classic turtle figures were 997 but you know we're here to talk about pizza tossing so the card back is really faithful obviously there's some changes uh, and there's less paint applications specifically on like the little periscope eye but other than that i mean just at first glance you know finding these on the shelves it's very nostalgic looks great you know, you got the little action features on the back. You got the little information clip and collect. Uh, you know, your accessory breakdown. This is another change from the original. The original had uh, their belt as an accessory that was included. It's not shown on the back of the car, but it's clearly on the figure. So that is, you know, just a couple of the little nuanced things that Playmates does to change up their little remake uh, reissues and they move some of the text and the fonts and of course, you know, you don't get like the Ninja Turtle points or anything like that, those little clip out features. But other than that, I mean, they look great, fantastic as far as just presentation. I'm an out of the box collector guy, so let's go ahead and rip these open and check them out up close and personal. Take a closer look at them now that they're off the card back. Got Michelangelo, like I said, pretty faithful to the originals. Obviously some changes. Uh, his weapons are much more vibrant orange, like I said, closer to red, burnt orange for sure. I don't know if they were purposely trying to keep the color away from what they use for Leonardo here, but I mean, it, it's pretty close to his normal colorway and the original colorway. I love the, you know, pizza slice in his mouth expression that he's got going on. Uh, you got the nunchucks that attach to the bottom here, or you can take them off, put them in his hand, of course, and his pizza gun does have the little satchel. And of course he comes with six slices of pizza to toss slash shoot. Um, each turtle comes with their own slices, each one of them six. They're all identical, each and every one of them. So you will have a ton of little random small uh, pizzas just sitting around to be lost uh, if you buy all these figures. You can try to put some of them in the little carrying pouch right here, uh, but I find it very difficult to get them out and you can only honestly fit a couple of them in there. So it's just kind of a, Mm, afterthought in reality, but just keep that in mind. You will have a bunch of these rolling around willy-nilly. To operate the pizza tossing uh, mechanism, you're gonna put a pizza in the back there, like a piggy bank. You're gonna pull back on the arm, you'll notice the little joint right there, and it's gonna fire this out of the front, and I'm telling you right now, these things come out of there 
Fastball, flaming hot. And up next, we got Leonardo. Got his trusty katana, little attachment there so he can grip it in the middle. Uh, he's got a meat pizza on top, whereas Michelangelo just had a straight up pepperoni. So his pizza on his chest is a little bit different as is his gun. It says the accessories are true to form. He's probably the most accurate as far as the original release and the packaging. I got the tongue out expression. Molds on these are great. His little pizza carrying satchel's got two Ninja Turtles biting into a, a full pizza. Uh, the belts on all three of these figures can come off. I don't recommend taking them off uh, because you'll have an absolute nightmarish time trying to get them back on and squared away just because of where the little clasp sits. But in case you're wondering, yes, you can take off the belts. So Leonardo looking awesome. Raphael differs from the other two. He has a pizza oven instead of a you know pizza on top. Uh, and as with most of the Playmates reissues, they pretty much stuck with always reissuing Raphael in this kind of spearmint green colorway. They've always kind of mixed up the colors of the turtles to make them a little more distinguished and different from each other. Uh, but for whatever reason, they've really been laying in on the light colored spearmint application for Raphael in recent years. So. He's got a different little pizza satchel, a little side image of a Ninja Turtle eating a pizza, almost Pac-Man-esque. He's got his Psy attachment to the pizza oven, uh, sticker applications. These are already put on there for you. You don't have to put them on. Mine's already kind of peeling there. Uh, one thing I do remember on the original toy is it had a colored eyeball here in his little periscope slash telescope area. Uh, none of that is here. It's just solid plastic. He does have the most uh, accessories technically because that's one piece, that's one piece, one piece, one piece, one piece. So he's got a little more, a little more plastic accessories than the others, but for the most part, they are identical. Like I said, they all get six slices of pizza. They all function the exact same. You're just gonna get your pizzas, load them up in the back, pull their arms and shoot. Overall, like I said, $14.97 price point. I think that is more than fair. Uh, this is definitely something that I never expected to be on the radar for Playmates to reissue slash remake. So I was excited to see these come out, even though they just kind of like showed up on shelves without any kind of warning or indication. I, I mean, I absolutely need Donatello at this point. I, I'm still flabbergasted that they chose to release three out of the four turtles instead of the entire group. But maybe they will rectify that in the near future. I sure hope so. So. If you're interested in picking these up, like I said, Walmart exclusives, they are listed online, but your best bet is to find them in stores for a cheaper alternative, but I'll put product links down in the video description box below. If you enjoyed the review, make sure you hit that like button, share this video with your friends if you found the information helpful, and as always, thanks for watching, guys. It really means a lot.